how do we find these jobs? So, um, like they're not traditionally posted on Seek and online job boards, are they? Um, people do things a little bit differently in regional areas. Well, what's some advice you might have if anyone is thinking of going out east into Gippsland? Yeah, look, I think one of the one of the key components that we really try and encourage is to, to get to know people in the area and to, to understand from those people what, the, what the, the needs are. So it might be jumping in the car, getting on a train for a couple of hours and, and coming down visiting um, and doing some networking because there's always events on where people can network. And then finding out where those market needs are. Um, and, and I think that I imagine it happens across every industry, but there's a lot of jobs that aren't advertised. And so what we really try and communicate to, to people that are looking for work is to, to start building those networks before you move. And then those doors will at least start opening while you're transitioning. And, and we tend to find that people that are moving to the region move, have work set up, and they'll have a few jobs maybe that they're doing at the same time, which um, kind of moves on to that next point of, of not just being kind of a, a master of one skill set, but having the flexibility to do a few things. Um, and we're seeing that that is, is being a preferred skill set, especially in the agriculture space. Um, and then additionally, the, the rise of the gig economy is allowing kind of people to, to do two days a week for an employer, and then they can focus on their own startup or servicing their own clients through their own startup that, that may be running. Um, because we've, we've got to be aware as well that we, we don't often have all of the opportunities or all of the solutions in the regional um, areas, especially in Gippsland. Um, so new skill sets can come in and then they can be serviceable startups um, ready, ready to go in a market that's, that needs that skill set that may not, that may not have it. Um, yeah. I think that's what excites me the most because um, you know working working with a number of uh, international students through Inside Academy, um, I'm really loving being able to talk with them about the, the projects that I'm working with, and then connecting them into some of those employment opportunities because then they get that experience and then they're able to see what that transition could look like. Yep, and and um, a, a couple of points. Um... Uh, you mentioned before about internships. I think that more and more um, companies are uh, embracing, um, you know, internship programs, which which is something that's been set up by our government to give young people, you know, their first crack at getting some experience, knowing what it's like working. And so, you know, look out for all the providers, um, La Trobe University, people like us, um, to you know, that might be your first taste of it. And and given that. We've just experienced COVID for the first time ever. We actually have more remote internships than we do face-to-face -face ones. And that is the new norm. And I think this is especially great for internationals because you might be living in um, Greater Bendigo, but you might be interning um, or even working for a business in the Gippsland Lakes. And so the world has changed, I think, for the better for international students, especially those looking to Right here.